And welcome to another episode of the Tired F1 Pod. We're back and better than ever. And Amar, despite having a baby, you are regularly back on the show. How are you doing? I am tired, but I am super committed. As you can see, I put everything else aside in my life, a choice that I would recommend no one else make. But I have done that. And, and we're here because, uh, you know, we can't stay without talking about Formula One. That's right. Amar's baby is now fending for himself. Uh, and he is here with us. Uh, and making his YouTube debut, I am so, so happy to see the F1 diplomat, Diplo, how are you? I'm good. I'm also tired, but I think it's just part of the name of the podcast, right? And so I just want to push back a little bit there on uh, on on the the Lewis's lost motivation or Lewis has, has had it kind of thing. And I, and I know so this is exactly what the fan bases are guilty of. And we're doing it right here because it's, it's just, it, this is how easy it is to fall into that trap of, you know, you're talking about talking up one driver, it's automatically talking down the other driver. And I, I don't, I don't, I don't see it as, as a, as a Lewis losing motivation necessarily. And and I did at, at one point, right. We talked about this in our, in our, uh, uh, Fernando and Lewis are getting too old video that that perhaps Fernando still feels like he's got something to prove whereas Lewis is like well I'm just in it for a world championship and if this car isn't going to do it for me what's the point of me pushing and, and I and I, I think I reached a eureka moment when I watched the Australian Grand Prix even though Lewis was beaten in qualifying by George it was a manner in which he was he was beaten that kind of made that point for me that that Lewis was actually uh, was actually ahead through most of the final sector. There was only that last little bit at the at the final corner where he made a mistake that that lost him that edge. It was only it was less than a tenth, wasn't it, that dropped him out of um, that that meant he couldn't progress into quality three. But George did, and that that made a big difference in terms of their 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 qualifying positions and their perception of that of of that particular qualifying session. But but the margins were small, and and for me, what that told me was was that Lewis is still pushing. He's still trying to find something in that car. He said this himself, that he's that it's not just about getting the most out of this car. That's not what, what it is. He's trying to find that, you know, we always talk about symbiosis and we've talked about it a lot on this. I, I think I, I talk about it on nearly every video now, but he's trying to find that with this car and he's the experiments aren't like I'm experimenting because the team are asking me to do it. I agree with you, Diplo. He's doing it because he is trying to find something with that car that he is missing. Yeah. And the fact that he keeps trying to do that suggests to me that he hasn't lost motivation, that he's still trying to find something, even in his final season of a team that he's going to leave. He's been there for it'll be nine years, 10 years by the time he leaves. Um, and goes to Ferrari, he's still trying to find that special something that that he doesn't have uh, yet. And 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 to me, it it, it crystallised the, the 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 dichotomy between these two drivers, between George and Lewis, right? That and I really really don't want anyone to take this the wrong way because I'm I'm not trying uh -oh. to mean it disparaging <laughs> oh, no. to anybody. Oh no! <laughs> but but what you said about Diplo, what you said about um, George being used to driving a car that isn't quite there. At, at Williams is what he's showing now at Mercedes that he's absolutely he's able to absolutely maximize what what a recalcitrant car can do right and and this this is a this is a talent that, that we see someone like Fernando has as well you know and we all talk up how amazing Fernando is that he can take a dog and make it shine right and that's what George is starting to show now and over the course of the last three seasons he's putting that car in places that it shouldn't really be because he's he's able to 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 absolutely maximize I'm not going to say that he's getting results out of it that it can't get because physics doesn't allow that but he's getting the absolute most out of it whereas Lewis I feel is just not happy with that level like perhaps he could mm. get that level and and in in races like you know Japan just just now and um, you know, the, the, the latter half of 2022, you could see that, that you know, he just sort of accepted it. it was like, All right, fine. This is just what the car can do. This is what I'm going to do. But but in the sessions where he's not able to do that, um, th there seems to be a sense that I'm fighting to get more out of this car because I think there's more out of it. There's, there's, there, there must be a, a better level for me to be able to win races and championships. And, and that's what I'm aiming for. Mm. And there's a subtle difference there between the two. Neither is... Go on, Diplo. You've got your finger. Uh, up. I, I, yeah, uh, the only yeah, thing that I was going to say, 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm not mad at what you're saying. It's a hundred percent true. Um, and but I would argue, and I think you you like the tweet that kind of alluded to what I'm about to say earlier, I think in the week. The only difference between when people talk about Fernando Max and Lewis are not at the or uh, uh, Charles Lando and George are not at that level. Yeah, because they've never had the opportunity to challenge for a championship yet. Thank so you. we don't know Thank you. how they will act and or react. Yes. So George, at this point, all he can do is try to squeeze the most out of a car because 100%. he doesn't know what it's 100%. like to have a championship winning car. Lewis has had multiple. So he's like, this is not up to the standard of winning a championship. I'm going to try to find how I can make it there. Yeah. And that's the nuance that doesn't get taken into consideration. It's not that they're different. I mean, I'm sure that they're different people, they have different driving styles, they have different personalities, everybody is unique in that sense. But the one thing that one driver definitely does not have, and the other one definitely does have, is championship challenging experience and championship winning experience. And so you can't begrudge George for acting the way he does, because every driver at George's age and level that doesn't have a championship winning car needs to act like that, or they're not supposed to be an F1. That's what I don't understand because yeah. most people are like, yeah. he's so competitive, elbows out, willing to push his team. It's like, yeah, show me a driver that doesn't do that and I'll show you a guy who fizzles out in two seasons because they're not supposed to be in the sport. 